Okay, so I'm talking to uh, Philippa Brown, who's a registered veterinary nurse. Okay, hi, Philippa. Um, could you just tell me, when was it you were here at CCSE? Um, I think it was probably about 10 years ago. 10 years ago, right. Okay, so you, so some of the uh, teachers that are, are still here will, uh, will definitely remember you then. Yeah. <laughs> You're a registered vet nurse. Um, can you just tell me a little bit about what that entails, kind of on a, on a day-to-day basis? What was your kind of typical day? Um, so no day is the same. Um, it's different, uh, different surgery, different clinics, uh, different animals and people coming in. Yeah. Um, we have various roles. Um, so just to keep it short, uh, obviously we um, we can be an anaesthetist, phlebotomist, yeah. uh, X-ray nurse, um, physiotherapist, weight consultation, mm-hmm. dentistry. Um, obviously advise and we teach yeah. um, lab technician and the list does go on so anything that you think of a human nurse being we do it all also but as one D- different hats on different days and at different times right okay and yeah. phlebotomist is that blood taking blood yeah yeah okay brilliant and how long have you been doing the, the job as a vet nurse um so I've been doing it um four years but I've only been qualified for two Oh, right. OK. And I mean, what's the kind of the career path, sorry, the, the, the training, the education path, I suppose, to becoming a, a vet nurse? So I did it a long way. Okay. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. Um, you basically, uh, there's uh, quite a few uh, colleges that um, do the specific course so you can either go down the apprenticeship route or you can go to university Mm -hmm. um because i already had a degree i just basically did the course alongside working full-time um so it's a level level three veterinary nurse qualification um and that takes about three years to complete um but i sort of did a slightly separate route just before that Oh, right. Okay. And you said you were, you were at university. Were you doing a science-based degree? Is that what you so I did a Bachelor of Science in Animal Behaviour. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. So you're a behaviourist as well. Mm, kind of. <laughs> okay. Great. And, I mean, you, you've already mentioned the, the different roles. I mean, I, I assume, do you have to qualify as a registered veterinary nurse to be able to do those other types of, of roles in terms of the x-ray and all of those different things is it, it i assume it's all part of being uh, uh, a registered vet nurse um not really you can right. do most of the things um but you're you are um when you're a student you are monitored and supervised by a registered or by a veterinary surgeon okay. um whereas once you're regi- registered um you are accountable for your own actions right. however you still have to have that instruction from a veterinary surgeon in order in order to go ahead and do things okay. um like um for example i couldn't say i'm going to go into surgery and i'm going to uh, do surgery on this animal you'd have to have the permission from the surgeon right okay but you will do some of the surgery yourself um there is a little gray area in in right. that but um yeah Right. OK, that's that, that's fine. Uh, what would you say is the best part of your job? Um, so my idea of the best part is obviously saving the lives mm-hmm. um, caring for the animals um, and using, obviously, your broad spectrum of skills um, yeah. to um, help support the vets and support the animals that need you. Right. OK. And I mean, the, the flip question to that is, well, what's the most challenging part of, of, of the job? Um, my idea of that is when you can't help an animal um you put all of your skills in there to help them but unfortunately it it sometimes isn't enough um and the only thing that you can do is be there for them um and i suppose we we, you have to keep reminding yourself you can't save them all um but i'll i'll try (laughs) exactly You, you, you try your very best well, that's that, that's brilliant. Well, I'm just one one more question for you. If you weren't doing this, I was going to say what would be your dream job, but this might be a dream, dream job. But if you weren't doing this, what what would you love to do? Um, 
So we did about a year in volunteering at a zoo um, and also work experience with the dog wardens. Oh, right. So okay. it'd just be probably following on from a different sector, basically. Um, so I quite like lab work. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I could go into that as well. Oh, right. Okay. So either animals or, or the or science side of it. That's, that's great. Thanks so much for your time, Flip. I'd much appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye.